Hi, we're going to use how Extrude works on Clio. So first of all, I'm going to select a face on this torus that I've created. I'm going to go to the Edition tab and click on Extrude. In here we have different values, for example the distance that we can increase or decrease. We also have the subdivisions to set on our extrusion. And we also have the taper, so to define the, the end of our extrude. Okay. I'm not going to validate that. We have another option that is holding Alt uh, on my keyboard. I can just click a gamble and drag it, and it's going to automatically create an extrusion. Okay, that's the other option to create extrudes faster. I'm going to undo that, and we're going to do extrudes with multiple selection. For example, something like that. I'm going to go again to Edition tab and extrude. And in here, for sure, we have the same values, distance, division, and taper. But we have more options here on the bottom. So the first one is one by one. So if I activate this option, it's going to create one extrusion per selection. So three selections, so three extrusions. OK, and the other option is by normal. In here, we are extruding by the average of the normals. So the three selections, this is the average normal. So it's extruding in this direction. So I can active by normal, and it's going to select every uh, normal of every of our selections. So now it's moving all the selections by his normal. Okay. Now we have uh, another option that is using curves. Here in layers, I have a curve in here. So for sure, it works with one face or with multiple faces selected. So I'm going to select one. And in this case, I'm going to active uh, extrude with hotkeys. So I'm going to activate hotkeys. And the hotkeys for extrude is the X. So I'm going to click on X. And here you have an option that it's called use a curve. So I'm going to click on use a curve. And the pointer says uh, select a curve. So I'm going to pick that one. And here I have uh, the same settings that I have before. So I can just change the subdivisions. For sure, the distance it's going to follow uh, the curve that I've picked. And the last option is the taper that I can just refine to create the, the shape that I want. OK, for sure, after ending any extrude command, we always have to validate to create the geometry. And here we go. That's all about uh, extrude in Clio. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.